What is up guys, DT Ninja here to you guys my Roni Kenshin Anime 2023, what to expect. Okay, so this is basically a short discussion on the upcoming anime. Yes, it is dropping this week, uh, July 6th, uh, so we, I'm really excited for it. Obviously, the new Kenshin anime, if you haven't already heard, is coming this week. Yes, so... I'm going to get to the details on where you can watch it and what to expect here in a moment. But I wanted to share, this is uh, one of the scans from SQ Magazine. And basically, this is the new look for Kenshin. You can see he has the red kimono, like the original manga. Love to see it, right? You got here for Kenshin and you got here for Kaoru. So I'm very much looking forward to... Uh, at least the character designs look really nice. They look new and improved. So I gotta say, I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, you can see here is Aoshi and Megumi. They also look pretty good. So I'm, I'm optimistic. I know there's a lot of changes, and we're gonna get to that in a moment. Okay, so first things first. Things first. Uh, why are we getting a new anime? Why are we getting this anime? Well. The short answer is the fan base. The fan base has been immensely loyal to Kenshin uh, throughout all of the hardships, as we know, with the author. And also, we've just gotten so many different things, variety of medias. We got, obviously, the live-action film. We have Restoration, the live-action film with Takeru Sato. Uh, yeah, so really awesome. Obviously, one of the best franchises in live action. Uh, then we had the Hokkaido arc, right? We can't forget about Hokkaido because this is where it was announced. During the Hokkaido arc panel and Jump Festa 2020, it was announced that the Hokkaido arc will be getting an anime. Now, they're starting. It actually didn't say the Hokkaido arc, but it said an anime project. So here's my thinking. This is the intention. They want to animate Hokkaido because it's very popular, it's doing very well, but we want to remember, we want to go back to the original and reboot. And hopefully we can get back to the final arc, which is Hokkaido. That's my thinking. So that means we want to see those scenes. We want to see this final scene from the manga. We want to see Kenshin and Kaoru as father and mother. We want to see the battle with Shishio and Kenshin. We want to see Eneshi versus Kenshin. We want to see Kenshin and Hokkaido and facing off against Byakuya. We want to see all of this. That is the intention, I believe, of, of Shonen Jump. That's the intention of, of Linden Films and the people that have that are going to be doing this. I think that's the intention. But is it going to happen? I can't say. That is the intention, though. I do believe that. Because, like I said, Hokkaido has done incredibly well. And the live actions have done very well. We've also even got stage plays. We got stage play uh, with Sena Sagiri. We had one with, with Tepe uh, from the Kyoto arc. And this is even Sena Sagiri with the musical. So there's a lot of different mediums for Kenshin. The fan base is incredibly loyal to Kenshin. That's the, that's the simple reason. And I just gave you the more detailed reason. Hokkaido arc, the live action, all of them together. But yeah, Hokkaido is a major reason. But the fan base... Is, is the simple reason, is, is, the, is pretty much the reason why we are getting a new one. But yeah, we can't forget about Hokkaido because that's, that's where it is right now. That's what's currently in the manga. So, And by the way, tomorrow the new chapter is coming. And I finished the chapter, so I will be uploading that very soon to my website. Okay, next. What can we expect? Obviously, this series is going to be more manga-based. As I showed you the designs earlier, Kenshin, it looks very nice, but how does it compare to the original? Okay, so let's look at some things, okay? Let's look at the action scenes. So in the preview, you can see some of these action sequences. The action looks very unique. It looks more uh 
dynamic. You can see like sparks flying when they're attacking. You can see air currents going up when the sword's flying. So, I mean, when the sword's coming down. So really interesting. So you can take a look at some of these action scenes. Okay, guys. So yeah, there's a lot of interesting action sequences. Uh, and we're going to get to uh, another thing, which is the special interview with Yamamoto. And he explains about uh, what he was doing and what he was thinking about while creating Kenshin. And he's working together with the author. So that's a very good sign. Um, so we have new voice actors, okay? We got to get out of the habit of just relying only on the old actors okay those guys are probably getting up there we got to give the new generation some credit here uh just be optimistic about the voices um one thing i will say there is a special resource that you should definitely check out it is called voice message of the day if you go to ronikenshinanime.com i will leave it in the description it is for the new anime. It'll come up. It'll say voice messages of the day. You'll see all the voice actors, including uh, Soma Saito, Rie Takahashi, uh, Yu Takami, and all of the other voice actors uh, of the original, like Megumi, Kenshin, Kaoru, Yaiko, and Sano. And you can listen in on a voice message every day. So you can get used to their voices. Some of them are very uh, they're not from the anime they're just for that holiday or yeah so it's very interesting to listen in and see the tone and the range of their talent so i highly recommend you check that out that will definitely get you used to their voices if you can't get past that i understand you know i'm the same way with the with the english voice actors uh, I was really into those. I love them. They're classic. So I can totally understand the nostalgic factor on that. But I just wanted to let you guys know there is a resource out there that can help you. Uh, and it's really cool. It's all free and you can just listen in. Of course, it's all in Japanese. But at the same time, you get an idea of what's to come. So pretty cool. Like I said, uh, sharper, unique action. Uh, there's new openings and endings. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, he 10. So he 10 is the opening. We heard that in the last, in the latest trailer. Really, and really nice sound. Uh, I gotta say, it's not the same as the original. Like you know, you got L Arc N C L or Judy and Mary with Sabakasu, uh, Sobakasu. But like, of course that's nostalgia playing a factor you gotta get you gotta get out of that i know i know i know i'm i'm a huge classic fan as well but you gotta be optimistic you gotta give it a try that's just my feeling on it the music is gonna be different the ost is gonna be different i mean the ost is one of the best parts about kenshin especially during the battles and you know all of those battle sequences the other sequences all the music is classic and pretty much a masterpiece so i can understand that as well but we're gonna get some new music so just just be aware of that that could be a concern for some but i'm optimistic okay i can look past it that is something that will probably be above the new anime that's just my opinion but yeah okay like i said nostalgia but i'm optimistic and looking forward to it as well okay like i said uh the fourth uh the the sixth is the new release uh but we also have a world screening world screening uh is an event that's going around the world obviously starting in japan june 18th and then it went to philippines in the 25th and then it came here in korea last weekend and it is going to the u.s tomorrow so if you're going to la tomorrow you will get a first-hand look at seeing the voice actors Rie Takahashi, Soma Saito, Kenshin and Kaoru, and also you will get four episodes 
preview of the anime. Really cool. Sadly, I did not get a chance to see uh, the preview uh, here in Korea. I, they were sold out, so definitely act fast. Uh, I will give you a, a little look at the schedule. There, there's a little time left for, for US and, and France, but the rest of you, uh, they've already happened. So, But anyways, here it is. Hey guys, so yeah, that's the schedule. Um, one thing I want to point out is during that, uh, I, I've heard a lot of things. I've heard good things, and I've heard that the the pacing of it is very is very much like the original, so that's a good sign. Although the nostalgia is going to play a factor, so just keep that in mind. Um, now, one thing during those screenings, you get you get some nice goodies like postcards of of the new anime uh obviously you'll probably get something maybe signed or it depends on where you are or you know other merch uh very interesting stuff but also their platforms are going to be announced a streaming platform so for korea it is any plus and for i think it was uh philippines it's, it's prime video so for us we don't you don't know we don't know yet so we will learn tomorrow what where to watch so just keep that in mind okay the last thing is director yamamoto's special interview which i translated so i briefly made some notes about it i'm not gonna read the whole thing is a lot um but one thing i want to say is he is a huge fan of kenshin not only that he is working right next to the author so working alongside him and they are working together and one thing that he wanted to uh, stress on is the awareness of foreshadowing. So in the original, there wasn't really foreshadowing, right? We we didn't get to see how he got the scar, right? Right away, right? But maybe in that first episode, maybe in that first episode, we might get a flashback of Kenshin hurting or even maybe even seeing Tomo, possibly. I'm just putting it out there. It could happen. And also, we might see Hajime Saito because we saw him in the trailer. So that is a very good possibility. Uh, this is foreshadowing for what's to come. So Saito is a huge rival and Tomo is someone very important to Kenshin. So these are two possible things that could foreshadow uh, for future events. Now obviously the foreshadowing is a flashback from the past, but still uh, very, uh, he said that there are some surprise elements throughout and they're scattered. So pay attention to the episodes because there are things that are going to connect him to the future and the events that happen to him. So this could be villains, you know, antagonists. We could possibly see something from Shishio. We could see something from Saito, maybe even Janae because Janae also was a Shinsengumi and in Restoration, he did an entirely alternate story where they actually meet in the past. That was very interesting. So we might even get something like that uh, before their battle. So I know he's a huge fan of Janae's fight, so we could see something like that happen. But yeah, um, again, Hajime Saito, Janae could possibly be shown foreshadowing, maybe even Tomo. Um, one thing he m mentioned was the liveliness in the city. So you'll see, uh, you know, more lively uh, people throughout the city, you'll see. And they're definitely from that era. They made a, a point to make it very similar to the era. Um, also, uh, the uniqueness of action. Like I showed, like I told you, and I showed you some of those action sequences, they are focusing on that. Um, I did notice some things, like they're focusing on the manga, like you see Kaoru uh, and Kenshin. Kenshin is holding uh, Kaoru's head like in the first chapter of the manga, they, they did that in the anime. They're also kind of doing a little bit different with the eyes. I'm not a huge fan of that, I like the psychological change. But at the same time, I do like the way the eye looks because it's got that manga look like something fierce is about to happen. You know, you got the, the action uh, kind of 
uh, lines coming out like it's a manga thing. So I like that manga effect. So hopefully we do see more of that uh, in, in the anime. So anyways, guys, that's my take on it. That is pretty much what I wanted to explain. Uh, I hope uh, I, I uh, hopefully my information helps you in deciding whether to watch it or not. But I am very much looking forward to it. And yeah, uh, again, I have just finished the Hokkaido arc chapter 53. Chapter 54 will drop tomorrow. So we got a lot of Kenshin stuff uh, coming very soon. So uh, stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.